September 27th, 2023. How's it going, guys? Well, I got another video for you. And what are we going to talk about? Well, we're going to talk about Kansas City. We're going to talk about Independence, Missouri. We're going to talk about crime, drugs, and the homeless and trash here. And uh, I'm going to just show you what I got here this morning real quick. First thing, we're going to start out right back behind Gordman's. And there's been a lot of homeless back there, living back there and stuff. And I got a fairly good shot. It's a little blurry this morning, but why don't you guys take a look at this? Hold on. Okay, guys. Now, this is behind Gordman's. And this is where the ones that are dealing the drugs and the homeless and stuff. Look at this. This looks like just like a whole little sanctuary place for her back there. And this morning, I noticed there was a vehicle even back there. Interesting, guys. But look at all the trash. Unbelievable. Now, hold on. I got a couple more photos to show you guys of Independence here in Kansas City. Here's another shot, guys. This is off uh, Lee Summit Road and 40 Highway up there off the corner. And uh, th there's their makeshift carts and stuff. Interesting, guys. Got a couple more shots to show you here. Okay, guys. Now, this is up 40 Highway and Lee Summit Road on the other side where they had like a whole little like, uh, I don't know, group camping ground of them up there, I guess. But I wanted you guys to see this trash. I'm going to move it along here. Look at all this stuff. And there was, this morning there was a lady that was over there talking to this person in this vehicle. Interesting. I don't know. Now, the gal that was in the white vehicle, she finally got out. It looked like she had a deal around her neck like a, a tag or whatever. Could have been the city, but it doesn't have city tags on it, so I don't know. But very interesting. I'll back this out so you guys can see all that trash there. Now, they're going to be building something. I don't know what they're building out there in front of that CVS, but this over here is private property. I was noticing that there's a whole bunch of signs that say, no trespassing, no trespassing. On this, uh, this is the south side of a 40 highway here. So I don't know, guys. It just, oh man, I don't know. There was a lot more than that. They had, I mean, like I said, it could have filled a dump truck up is how much stuff they had over there. Not good, guys. And I got one little funny thing to show you. Now, what I want to show you is the deal here. It says, does OSHA require harnesses on roofs? And so it requires that each employee on a walking or working surface, horizontal or vertical surface when it, with an unprotected side or edge, which is six feet, that's 1.8 meters, guys, six feet or more above a lower level shall be protected from falling by the use of a guardrail system, safety net, or basically a harness like. Now, when I was coming back by the tool shed this morning, we all know where the tool shed's at, guys. Jose was up here on top with the leaf blower. That's what you guys see that. No harness or anything. Now, that's a garden hose right there. That ain't a harness, the other part of the deal. But I just thought that was really interesting. And, you know, like it said, six feet. Well, look at this ladder here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's on the first. That's on the first tier to the second tier of this. Hmm. Well, I mean, I, it probably doesn't matter anyway, right, guys? Anyway, pretty interesting. Must have had some wood rotting up there too. Look like they got some sheets up there. Hmm. Yeah, that's always it, boy. I tell you. When I worked out there at that apartment complex out there, the mold was massive. Go in there and breathe that. You don't want to breathe that mold in because it, it can do bad things to you. You want to make sure you got a mask on and stuff. Anyway, guys, just a quick little video this morning. And uh, 
keep your eyes open and have a good day out there.